Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know this is a really weird video. Um, I wanted to post this up on Thursday, but I just, I didn't get around to really recording it until today and today's Friday. So that is why you're probably seeing this on Sunday or Saturday. Who knows? Whenever I post this, this is when you see it. But um, if you guys don't know me, I, I, I don't just play The Sims. I play many other games um mostly slim sims just because i really don't have that much time on my hands to be on the computer anymore so when i'm on the computer it's literally to record and that's usually the sims but i have been playing this franchise called guild wars um since the beginning of guild wars one which is what you're seeing on the screen right now and i had this just this nostalgia feel um like i think about a week ago now because they actually just recently updated this and i haven't set the like the stuff to get like the update and it's basically a graphical update so i mean if this video does like decent then maybe i can go ahead and get it all figured out how to help the graphics and stuff like that but um i just want to let you guys know that guild wars 1 came out in 2005 april 26 2005 so it's almost what is it um it's it's literally over 10 years old that's crazy it's like i don't even know how old you guys can do the math because i suck at math but anyways I want to play it. Um, so I'm going to be creating a new character and I'm going to be playing in Prophecies, which is the first um, uh, expansion pack. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my all of my characters. So this is Kyolin Lee. She's a ritualist slash monk. Um, she is from the factions campaign. And then I have a killin', a, a killin', like I'm killing you type. I don't even know. I was really young when I made these characters. Um, she is level seven and she's an assassin monk. Um, Jessica Lynn is my very, 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 very first character. I'm never going to be deleting her. Uh, she's a ranger monk. She's level 20. Level 20 is the max for this game which is crazy but this is a really old old uh mmo um and then i have cybel Said. um she is a ranger monk as well level 20 she's from nightfall so she started in nightfall she started in factions um and then i have trixie x which she is um mesmer necro She's level 13, and she's in Ascalon City, so I think that she's still in the starting of Prophecies. I think I use this character for a lot of farming and stuff like that, so I'm, like, kind of, like, making money off of her, I guess you could say. So when she gets up to getting into the actual main campaign of Prophecies, um, that I have, like, a lot of money. Um, and then I have Sian Moonshade, which is Necromancer Monk. She's from Nightfall, um, and she's level 20. And then I have Nikita Nuan, which she is a Dervish Monk. Nightfall, uh, campaign and level 20. And then I have my Jesse Lynn. This is such a weird name. <laughs> um, um, she's from Nightfall as well, and she's level 20. And then my I have my little monk, which she her name is Aaliyah Lee. Yep, I've used Aaliyah in my game. Um, she's level 18, and she's from Prophecies. So we're going to go ahead and create a new character. Uh, we're gonna do role playing and there's prophecies factions and nightfall prophecies came first factions was second and nightfall was third so we're gonna go into prophecies and i'm gonna make a elementalist or mesmer i don't know um because like obviously i've done ranger many times and i have a warrior monk and necro but i don't have any of these so I think what I'm going to do is, so Mesmer is a master of illusion, misdirection, and control. The Mesmer subverts the damage dealing compatibilities of others, manipulating their perceptions to achieve personal goals. And then we have the Elementalist, the master of arcane lord and magical aptitude. The Elementalist calls upon the power of fire, earth, air, water, and, obli and to obliterate enemies. Um... Let's go ahead and do Mesmer. 
Um, she's going to be female. Wait, no, I have a Mesmer. That's right. I think I have a Mesmer. Sorry, I have to go back. Um, yeah, she's a Mesmer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do Elementalist. I'm like, wait, I recognize that, that outfit. <laughs> um, so female, they're kind of like skimpy. Um, and I'm going to do my face or my skin color, my skin color, obviously, but there is multiple different skin colors. You can't really change, um, that much things for this. Not like Guild Wars 2, if you guys have seen Guild Wars 2, but, um, I'm going to give her, I love this hair. So I'm going to give her that hair with, um, um, let's do this blonde hair. And then for her face, um, let's see, man, this is so throwback. This is crazy. Um, let's give her this face. Um, and then we have the, whatchamacallit, armor, and we can change the height. So I usually make them really short because that's just how I do. My favorite color is purple, so I'm going to go ahead and make her um, armor dye purple. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do next. I do not have a name picked out. Um, so I'm going to do what I know best, and that is Aaliyah Lynn. Oh, no. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to let this load. As you guys can tell, I haven't loaded this up. Um, and then we'll be back once it's all loaded. The last day dawns on the kingdom of Ascalon. It arrives with no fanfare, no tolling of alarms. Those who will remember will speak fondly of the warm morning breeze. People carry on with their daily lives, unaware that in a short while, everything they have ever known will come to an end. Scribe. Yes, my lord. These charred are relentless, but we shall hold the wall at all costs. Yes, my lord. Take this message to Sir Titus. Go forth and recruit the strongest, the smartest. Bring to me the bravest in all of Ascalon. Find me the heroes who will lead our kingdom to glory. As you command, my king. So here we are. So this is the starting area for prophecies. And if you guys can't tell, I have no skills right now, but we will get there. So there's actually only one district right now, just because this is a super old game. But if you guys can see these blue circles right here on the mini map, that's actually real players. So, I mean, it's still alive. It's still going. And I think a lot of people are continuing playing it just because whoops just because of the fact that it's just you know nostalgia um so since this is an older um mmo there is no jumping there's no nothing it's just insane so this is a real player right here her name is necromancer lillian um the difference between guild wars and guild wars uh Whoa, that armor is crazy. Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 is when you leave this like city area, you go out into like, I guess you could say the real world. There's actually nobody else that comes with you. So you're literally alone. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, but it's okay. So right now I'm just kind of getting a quest, which, um, I'm going to pop open. Oh, wait, 
pop open that. I don't remember any of the, the stuff. So here's our party mini map and then we have the quest log. So right now we are doing a primary quest called War Preparations. Go out the gate to Lakeside County. Um, and talk to Howland, Holland, then Elementalist. Um, so we're gonna do that. As you can see, all of these people are real players. So there is a lot of people here, which is amazing. Um, it's nice to see that this game is still surviving. Um, and there's like a random quest over here as well. Um, everybody that has like the green little, um, almost looks like a plum bob, I guess you could say, um, is uh, quests and um, you can go ahead and get them and it'll show you guys by the arrow which is nice but I'm gonna just go ahead and run around because I think there's a couple a couple different quests in this area that we can get um, and it'll give you extra money for when you go into the actual area um, I don't believe I don't believe anybody is out here. I think this is just where the war is happening. <laughs> um, all of the, all of the, the things, the the chars and stuff. And as you can see, I don't have my weapon out because you can't really fire any skills or anything like that um, in the actual towns. And right now, it looks like a lot of people are trying to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. I mean, whatever. It looks like that's literally all people are talking about right now. Um, but we have, we have weapons, we've got more weapons, and I think that there's another, another quest over here, but maybe it's because we have to finish the primary, primary quest. Um, yeah, we have to finish the primary quest. So, oh, look at all these cool okay um so i'm gonna go ahead and head on out and we're gonna go ahead and start playing um this might take oh no there's not very many files so it's not gonna take too long i literally just downloaded this game a couple days ago so that's why i'm saying that there's gonna be loading times but yeah so this is the starting area over here so we have the elementalist right here which is gonna help us we when you adventure outside of town, you get your own private copy of the world to play with a friend. Simply form a party together before leaving town. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we need to kill the scale along the road, southwest, acquire a shimmering scale, um, and bring it back, I believe. So we have to go kill these people. Um, not people. We don't have any skills right now, but we can still fire at them. Um, and they actually die pretty easily and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill every one of them. Oh wait. No, that's right They kind of leave I forgot um, That's okay, but we got a scale um, So I'm gonna run it back over here wait It says zero shimmering skills. Oh wait that is just a scale fin. Oh, so I do need to go over here. It's been a while, guys. Okay, it's been a while. Okay, so bear with me. Usually when I start out in this area, I do stay until I, um, I, I'm a kind of like a higher level. Um, because then that way I have, you know money and all of my skills when I leave. Um, they do drop some gold coins, which is nice. Um, but since I only need one shimmering scale, I'm not going to go ahead and grab everyone that falls down. Um, so we're getting... Oh, a fire staff. Yay. So we do have a new staff that we can use. I do like fire. It's the one that does the most damage. Ugh. I have to get used to not being able to move. When... Oh, another water, water staff. Okay. Um, but the difference between Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars is you can, like, run around when, um, you're fighting. You can't do that. In Guild Wars 1, you can't jump or anything like that. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely different than Guild Wars 2, and I haven't played those in so long. Um, but we're gonna go over here and... 
talk to him and I believe that there's gonna be a quest that pops up right over here um, to help get a like a resurrection skill I mean I think I might have to go and actually get somebody to join my join my uh, uh, team but if you guys can't tell we have um, two skills now we have flare spell send out a flare that strikes target foe for 20 fire damage if it is if it hits if you are over overcast flare hits adjacent foes as well and then we have the aurora of restoration which is like energy and stuff so yeah we have to return to Ascalon city form a party with another player so i don't know if we will be able to oh that's right if we'll be able to get another player um to add or join us um but we'll see so it says further adventures so this is the little map um so we have to go over there um let me go ahead and give myself this fire staff and then oh wait why can't we do this is it because oh it's because this is two-handed two-handed um but there is the earth scroll but since it's not identified i'm gonna go ahead and use the fire staff um eventually we'll be able to um have multiple weapons which is what i'll do um and have like a double handed one and stuff like that but we'll go finish this further adventures and then we will i'll probably end this here after that um and i'll probably do the side quest off screen but on screen i'll do the primary quest and stuff like that because there's a lot of um side quests that i can do um and i know that not all of you guys want to see the side quest very very much so but um yeah so i really hope you guys enjoy this 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 let's play because it is definitely stop running around oh it didn't hit He's level one, which is why it's taking a little bit more time to kill him. All right, so we got an earth wand, and if it, if you saw that, it says assigned to um, Aaliyah Lin. It basically means that I'm the only one that can pick it up. Um, so if you're in a party, there will be things that you can't pick up that drop because they are assign it to a certain player um so just so you guys know alrighty so I think that this is right up there yep and then this is another side quest that I'll pick up and I believe there's a, like another one down here yep there it is man the fact that I remember all of this and haven't played in literally forever and there's another side quest right there except all right, um, let's just go ahead and grab these while I'm on screen. Um, but yeah, so um, I believe that if you die, this is where you end up. Um, red iris flower. I think that we're going to have to pick those up for somebody. Um, wait, where did he go? There he is. Or she. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will definitely be um playing some more of this if you guys enjoy it then expect some more but it's definitely going to be a let's play that like if i don't feel like playing the sims then i will go ahead and jump up on or jump on and play for you guys so i really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this because i really want to play it more um but yeah so anyways i hope you guys have an awesome awesome day and i will talk to you guys all in my next video bye everyone